Welcome back to Partners Dog School. We will be moving into week two with our sheep doodle Scout who came into our training facility to work through his puppy behaviors, including mounting and being very pushy with people's personal space. Both myself and our training staff here have been working him through the obedience and structure week one, as well as simple manners and protocols that we'll carry back home with him. Let's go and dive into the training. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the head trainer here at Partners. Um, Nicole has recently called me into one of Scout's training sessions. Uh, she's really struggling with some of his mounting behaviors. So for instance, um, with Justice particularly, she'll go to pet, he'll go right over to her. Um, he'll put his nose directly in her crotch. And then when she tries to put her knee up using spatial pressure, he latches onto her knee and starts mounting, humping, what have you. So I kind of picked that apart with her. And what I started explaining was that a lot of times that mounting behavior comes from overstimulation. It's not always like a dominant bully type of behavior. So for him, it's, it's simply his puppy energy and his uh, kind of puppy emotions coming out in something that I would equate to like a like a child screaming indoors is it's 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 inappropriate but it's innocent um, it's not something we want to tolerate but at the same time it's just sort of over over exuberance and a little bit of um, over excitability so what I had her do was show me what it looked like first um, so I had Scout interact with with Justice a little bit um, and then same thing with Nicole he'll offer similar behaviors with Nicole as well and um, from there we started um, trying to correct that behavior on leash and collar and the thing with scout is the more that you move and the more energy that you put into the correction it kind of actually eggs him on so it's counterproductive leash and collar i think is hit and miss um, it will be more effective after we pattern an appropriate behavior and start kind of recalibrating that habit he has to something that's more appropriate we also tried e-collar as well e-collar was a bit more communicative that's when i could really see him kind of putting two and two together and starting to offer something that wouldn't get him corrected so again i gave him a couple nicks on the e-collar for sticking his nose in just his crotch and then again when he was mounting her a little bit when she was trying to correct him. And from there, he started offering a sit, offering a down. She would pet him, interact with him more. And I could see he was kind of putting that together a little bit where I'm not gonna offer this, I'm gonna offer something a little bit different instead. And it was looking like he had to go to the bathroom. So we put the leash on him. We started walking him up towards the door um, and he offered that mounting behavior again. So at that point, I pointed out that that behavior again was probably because the threshold, the doorway was a trigger for his energy. And again, that's how he's gonna direct his energy. So the game plan from here is to work on patterning a calmer behavior. Um, so for instance, it's gonna be a lot of threshold work, sit, treat, open door, close door, desensitization to that. It's gonna be desensitization to taking the collar on and off. So maybe clip the leash when he's in a sit stay, treat for a sit stay, unclip the leash, treat, take the collar off, treat, and he's expected to hold um, his position with good behavior the whole time. Eventually what that's gonna do is repattern that overexcitability. So he's gonna be in the habit of being a little bit calmer when he's walking through doorways, getting his um, you know equipment taken on and off and also with play so if he's if he's playing he's allowed to be excited but again at that point we want to start um, as i've said recalibrating that overexcited behavior where he can be excited he just can't be inappropriate before both myself and justice could wrap up week two with scout we had a few sessions inside of our daycare yards to continue testing scout's obedience in a distraction filled environment we also made sure moving into his final week that he could continue to present us with appropriate behaviors around the other dogs and have better manners going back to his mom. One of our final few lessons with him was completing his leave it and done commands that he would utilize back at home as well. Okay, good. So the leave it, uh, which is most important to the owner, that went really well. I did a leave it command for him not to pick things up off the floor. I also did a done command, which is a drop it. And that went really well. So overall, 
I'm pretty happy with the way that Scout training journey turned out. He has a better understanding of what to do with his excitement. Uh, before he was choosing some inappropriate behaviors such as mounting when he got excited. But now he understands when he takes off the equipment, um, he's to remain calm. He is calmer at thresholds. Um, he's calmer throughout distractions, um, greeting and meeting pe people he's calmer with. So I think that his mindset is a lot better than when he started. I feel like the owners will be able to carry out uh, the rest of his training and the rest of his journey at home. And so I feel like he's in a good spot. All right, so Scout's getting ready to go home and I'm so excited to talk to the owners. I think they're gonna be super happy with his training journey. Week two and three were definitely presented with a bunch of challenges from Scout playing appropriately inside daycare to continuing having to manage and control his energy and overall manners. I feel confident that his owner, Anna, will be able to continue his training at home and keeping him accountable, but I worry Scout requires so much maintenance that it may be a struggle the first few months. We are excited to wrap up his journey and see how Anna does during her transition and follow-up lessons.